Welcome back, Law of Signs students. Yes. How you doing, Law of Signs students? No, I can't even hear them if they're saying anything anyway. I'm such a dork. We're going to label a couple of these problems. This is number 21 in the book. Put that right there. 21. And we're going to call angle A 15 degrees. Angle B 113 degrees. So there's a nice obtuse angle here. We don't know angle C, but we do know that B equals 7. 7. And in the book, it's called 7 units. So I'll tell you what, let's just stick something on there like feet, just to make it interesting. And what we're going to have to do here is actually use these three formulas, well, use the correct one, to find the area of this triangle. All right, to do that, you'll notice a couple of things here. Each one of them has A, B, and C in the formula. Well, we don't have that right now. What we have is A, B, and B. So what we need to do is find this C right here. Um, and to do that, we first need to find this angle right there, this little c. So if we add these two together, 113 plus 15 is going to be 128. And if we subtract that from 180, we're going to get 52 degrees for c. And what we're going to have to do is actually use the law of sines first. So there's an initial step in here before we find the area. <clears throat> and we're going to have to find this, this side C first. So we look at it. Law of sines, you remember, is, of course, um, little a over sine of a equals little b over sine of b and little c over sine of c. Of c. Let's just erase that. <clears throat> okay, these are the capitals on the bottom. So if I'm going to find little c, and I know the b's, I'm going to set this up using these two right here, and it's going to say 7 over the sine of 113 equals little c over the sine of 52. And then we have our cross-multiplying business. Remember, if you're like struggling with cross-multiplying, if you draw an X through each of these, you will hit, on one side of them, you won't hit a letter. You need to multiply those two out. So let's all do that together. So if you do 7 times sine 52, yes, I'm doing it on a calculator right now, and then divide it by the sine of 113, I get 5.99, which I'm going to call 6. Everybody get that? Okay. So I can come up here. Call that 6, 6 feet. That's 5.99 we can round to 6. <clears throat> and now we have what we need to use these, which is A, B, and C. We have angle A, we have a little b, and we have a C. I suppose you could si um, solve for A here too and do it another step and then use either any of these you want. But let's go ahead and just stick with this one because I have A, B, and C. So, get a different color here. I'm going to use this top one right there and say K equals one half BC sine capital A. I'm going to plug everything into that. So I have one half little b, which is seven feet. I think it's smart when you show this, especially the first few times, to put it all in parentheses like this. Six feet times the sine of 15 degrees. So it's little, little angle right there. And of course, once you have this set up, you can just multiply this thing left to right as much as you want to. So it's going to be 0.5 times 7 times 6 times sine of 15. And that is going to equal 5.4 And now we need to label this, so it's 5.4 square feet because we are finding the area. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.